Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to another one of my videos. Welcome to Winter Efteling 2023. In this video, we're gonna check out everything that Winter Efteling has to offer for its 25th anniversary. Eat some great food and just enjoy this festive atmosphere at one of my favorite European theme parks. This is the entrance to Winter Efteling and you can see here it says Rama Winterweide, Winter Garden. And these are some of the offerings that they have for Winter Efteling here at Efteling Theme Park. Some food, some ice skating, some theater, photo spots. And before we head into the Winter Efteling area of Efteling, I wanted to give a big thank you to Efteling Theme Park for inviting us along. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and check it out. And look how beautiful everything looks. We've got Pagode, the ride all the way in the air. We've got all the Christmas trees around us with festive twinkly lights. There's plenty of Christmas trees actually in this whole area of the park and I absolutely love it. There's so many different little chalets as well with food offerings. And I'm here with the lovely Amanda! And it's Amanda's first time in Efteling full stop. So are you looking forward to discovering this theme park for the first time? I'm so excited. You've come at probably the most magical time of year as well with Winter amazing. Efteling. Yeah, it already looks amazing, doesn't it? So let's go and, let's go and, I don't know, just we're going to make around uh, this area and check everything out and see what takes our fancy in terms of food, entertainment, and I think coming at this time of evening as well, we only arrived about an hour ago. It's great because it's starting to get dark, but it's not quite dark because everything is so much more magical. And Amanda, who did you spot just now? Pardon? <laughs> um, Pardon, <laughs> yeah. Amanda said, I think there's, there's Efteling, Mr. Efteling over there. But yeah, this is why it's amazing coming with a first timer because like, I remember when I came here for the first time a couple, a few years ago and I was the same and I learned, I'm still learning about this wonderful theme park, but Pardo, should we go and meet him? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Yeah. I'm loving your outfit today for the winter Efteling. It's so nice, isn't it? <laughs> Yes! Thank you so much, Pardo. It was lovely <laughs> to see you. Pictures Last time I was in was about in 2019, a few years ago, my first visit to the Efteling. And now I'm back and I'm so happy to be here. Aww, thank you. So <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. Well, that was adorable. I really enjoyed seeing Pardo again after so long. The last time I actually met him was 2019 when I was here with my friend Marie, my first time in Efteling. You can check out that vlog if you wish to. But they've got loads and loads of cute merchandise bits here. There's an ice ring with which Amanda's quite excited about. Check it out. I've also noticed these. Sorry, I'm just going to quickly show you these because one of you guys, Kevin, Kevin, you told me about this. I've got loads of incredible Dutch viewers who are local to the Efteling. So thank you so much for recommending the Efteling to me all those years ago. I am now a big fan of it. But these apparently came out not so long ago. These um, Dream Flight uh, jerseys or uh, sweaters, jumpers, whatever you want to call them. And they've got them in different sizes and it's so, so magical. And you guys know that attraction is one of my favorites, probably my favorite. I think that's, I think that's what it's meant to be anyway. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful jumper. So some purchases might be made, but let's go and check out the ice rink now. Well, this is the ice rink area. It's a pretty big space actually. And Amanda noticed there's some people on chairs, like you know how normally they would have penguins to help people out who can't ice skate very well. Here they seem to have just chairs. Hopefully you guys can see them going through. So that's fun. Seems like a very magical place to ice skate. So a lovely staff member just uh, confirmed that those have recently come out, those Dream Flight uh, sweaters, jumpers, and apparently they're limited edition. So definitely going to get one. And he also said they have these socks with the same design for <laughs> Dream Flight. They are glow in the dark socks by the looks of it. They look very nice and cozy and wintry. So oh, I'm just so excited to go on the ride and then hopefully probably buy quite a bit of merch from it. And one of my absolute favorite things about the Efteling is, is soundtracks, the music for the rise, the attractions. And you can already hear some of it just in the Efteling, winter Efteling part of it. I think, are you happy to go maybe see if we can get something to eat? Mm. Well, amazing. So we're going to go around looking for some of the food stands. But okay. again, I just wanted to show you how beautiful and magical everything looks. There's just so many trees, twinkling lights. There's a fire place right in the middle which I think when it starts to get a bit darker it'll be even nicer to chill there loads and loads of photo opportunities and loads of games loads of just wintry vibes everywhere so I'm loving it I'm already feeling the festiveness we found a food stand here that sells um, what looks to be like hot dogs maybe but in a kind of different kind of bread it's like it goes around it they look nice they've got vegan options as well they've got halal it's a uh, seasoned pork and beef mixture so that's a potential option but we're gonna keep looking they've got some kind of waffle here winter waffle with warm cherries whipped cream and icing sugar mm, sounds delicious and here they've got some warm winter beverages uh, uh, basically some old wine some uh, hot chocolate hazelnut so yeah plenty of options i think we want to probably get something savory first and look at this shot look at that and they had the fire place over there pagode 
in the background. We just found one of the hot dogs, Bruja Unox, which to those of you actually have recommended that these are meant to be really good. Dutch hot dog season specialty, speciality, chili cheese style. So we're just going to find a stand for it and maybe that might be our first choice for snacks today. There's also a pea soup option here and I think this is where you can get the Bruja Unox chili cheese style. Uh, 5 euro 75 really not bad at all so potentially we might get some thank you so you much go. thank you and enjoy thank you very much oh bye bye thank you bye bye these look beautiful i think there's some onions on there as well we've got another little efteling packaging pretty nice size as well substantial for the price i think not bad so i've just tried a little bit of this um nuts the hot dog and it's really nice the, it's not spicy is it at all really the chili cheese sauce is lovely there's some i think maybe some ketchup and mustard in there sausage is pretty good bread is nice and soft actually the bread is really nice but like sometimes in theme parks they forget about the bread and they don't really put attention into it and you get really dry bread and this is this is good Look at Pagoda up there. Well, food was really, really nice. We both enjoyed it. We are now slowly but surely making our way towards the lake, which is where the nighttime show will be happening in about 20 minutes. But look at that. Even just the pathways here, the trees, etc. Everything just looks so sparkly and twinkly and magical. And I, I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to go on Pagoda and take Amanda on there. Shout out to my friend Marie. She loves that ride. But yeah, that's basically a ride that takes you all the way up and you get an incredible view of the entirety of the Efteling, which is exciting and it looks even better in the dark, obviously, with the colours. So if you want to see more of the rides, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because the next vlog will be us exploring the whole of Efteling and going on some of my favourite rides and obviously Amanda will get to go on them for the first time as well. The show we're hoping to catch is called Aquanura, by the way. It's a water show and it starts at 18.15, as I mentioned. And the app I would highly recommend to download if you're visiting Efteling because you can favorite the things that you want to see so that you don't miss on anything and also there's a map of everything as well it's incredible one of the best theme park apps i've ever seen and on our way we're getting closer and closer to one of my favorite attractions here which we're going to do tomorrow hopefully symbolica look at the show building for it it looks stunning and walking past it, you can hear the music from symbolica playing and it's just it's almost bringing a tear to my eyes it's the music honestly some of the best theme park music i've ever heard at the efteling
up with the ducks and swans just casually there as the show's happening. the finale. Well Aquanu I just finished. What did you think Amanda? It's so good. It's so amazing so isn't good. it? Yeah. Really magical. The water work is incredible. Not, yeah I mean I don't know what I expected you from but yeah. it's blew my mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I was also Absolutely blown away. Amazing. With the light work and there's some, some fire there's elements fire. as well. I know, I could the music. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> but no, that was incredible. I was just telling Amanda when we came, Marie and I came last year, for some reason we skipped it and we shouldn't have because it's phenomenal and I would definitely say if you're coming, check it out, Aquanura. It's on, I think, most evenings, so check it on the app, the timings. We're really glad we saw it. It was fantastic. Amanda and I just spent literally about 10 minutes in this area with these little fairy creatures and then Symbolica, listening to the music, taking some photos. So make sure you check out my Instagram. I'll leave the link down below. But because obviously the park has now closed officially and we're slowly but surely making our way out back into our little entrance for, because we're staying at the Efteling Hotel, which by the way, again, big shout out to the Efteling for inviting us and hosting us. But make sure you keep watching because I'll show you our room as well. It is beautiful. way out <laughs> Amanda heard the papier here guy the bins here they all say papier here and they talk and Amanda's about to have her first experience of throwing something he thanked you <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Well, we are in our hotel. We're about to go for dinner, but Amanda just Amanda just has become the perfect spot. Who do you keep spotting? Pardon. Pardon. What's this here? He's literally in our hotel. It's so cool. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. Loving life. Yeah. We're quite hungry. We're going to go and get eat some, eat something. Pardon. Yeah, it's a little fluffy thing, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, that was lovely, wasn't it, Amanda? You finally got to meet him. <laughs> we found a slipper here. Cinderella's slipper is just casually chilling in, in front of our restaurant for the evening. Um, yeah, this is our main restaurant at the Efteling Hotel. And we're both quite hungry, actually, so it'd be nice to eat a nice meal. Well, we've come to our table. We've been sat. Um, we've got a couple of bottles of, I think, one sparkling water, one regular water. We're waiting for the menu. We've got a little candle just uh, making the atmosphere beautiful. So, firstly, staff members here are... Oh, beverage menu. Okay. Thank you very much. Staff members here are phenomenal, by the way. Just thought I would give a big shout out to the lovely Michael here. Um, so this is the menu. I think this restaurant is called Cinderella and this is a fairy tale menu, a three course menu for 38 euros each. Um, I love that when they say fries with mayonnaise, it's just the best. So starters, we've got some venison ham, carpaccio, salmon, salad, pumpkin. Main dishes, we've got steak, fish of the season, chicken, beef wellington, risotto. Desserts, pumpkin pie, chocolate caramel mousse, probably going to go for that. Cheese wood coffee of your choice. So there you go, very nice. Now it makes sense why we had the slipper outside the restaurant, right? <laughs> Literally, the restaurant seems to be called it, which is nice. Uh, this is your wine, it's, it's a <laughs> French Milo. Yes. Anyway, we ordered some bread service, and there's some uh, dark bread, some white bread, a couple of sauces. I think that might be aioli. This is our little, well, pre-starter, because we've got starters coming up as well. And actually, we both ordered very similar things. Apart from our dessert, I think everything else is the exact same. Well, the bread service is phenomenal. We, we're really enjoying the bread and the aioli and this, like, herb buttery thing. Phenomenal. Really, really lovely. But thankfully, they've brought our starters now, because otherwise, I think both of us would have just gone all out <laughs> with the bread and not had um, space for the rest of the food. But this is the beef carpaccio that we both decided to go for. Looks really nice. Amanda, you've tried already, is it nice? Yeah. 
So yeah, we're gonna let you know what this is like. Amanda spots all the cute things. What did you spot? <laughs> the little pumpkin. <laughs> is it cheese? I don't know. It might be. Yeah. Cheese. Yes, it's cheese. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because obviously this is Cinderella themed, a lot of things are pumpkin flavored, which is nice, and also pumpkin shaped. Our main courses have arrived. Uh, the carpaccio was fantastic, by the way. We both went for the steak, the chuck steak, and it smells delicious. I opted to have my pumpkin um, sauce on the side just because I don't, wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, whereas Amanda's is under her steak. We've got some mashed potatoes, some green beans in there. We also ordered a side of fries with some mayonnaise. I love it. I'm just going to show the mayo because this is why I, one of the reasons I love <laughs> the Netherlands, you know. You guys know how much I love mayo and mayo and fries is a big thing here. In the Netherlands, so we're going to share that and bon appetit. It's everything is fish food. Yeah, it's very good. Thank you so much. So I thought I would really quick show you the plate as well in comparison to me. And I'm going to take my first bite very quickly. And let you know how I feel. We both went for medium for the cut of the steak. Oh, okay. It's cutting quite nicely. It tastes lovely. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to enjoy this, and we still have desserts. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll speak to you when we've got our desserts on the table. Lord have mercy guys, our desserts have come as if we weren't full enough but I went for the chocolate and caramel mousse and I did not expect it to come presented like this. I mean we've got Cinderella's slipper has been found with some chocolate pieces inside and some mousse. I don't think you can eat the... yeah that's that's definitely plastic. Is that... yeah that's plastic. You can't eat it. <laughs> Amanda's lolly. You went for... what is it? Pumpkin pie. Um, I, I can't remember what flavour the ice cream is, but it looks really nice. It does look really yeah. nice. Presentation for both, I feel like, uh, yeah. fantastic. So I'll give you, I'll give just a bit of a taste and let you know what it's like. But honestly, so far, everything's been really good. And we were talking about how the price, 38 euros yeah. for like a three course meal and some good quality food, really good. I present you Cinderella's slipper. It's actually beautiful. It's probably one of the most beautiful desserts I've ever had the joy of looking at because I've not eaten it yet <laughs> I don't really know what to do I guess I just take the thingies and put it okay Amanda's gesturing to do this right am I, am I right and then maybe just <laughs> okay yeah no that makes sense not all of it is coming out okay I mean there's some in the actual I think there's some mousse inside the so maybe we'll just take it from here <laughs> caramel and chocolate mousse it's nice it's very Moorish can confirm it tastes good. Anyway, we are back in our hotel room, our beautiful hotel room, room number 415. May I ask why you're just standing in the box? <laughs> I was trying not to get in the way. <laughs> um, yeah, room number 415 on the fourth floor at the Afternoon Hotel, and you can kind of see a little bit of a glimpse of the room so far. It is incredibly themed. We've not obviously slept on the beds yet, but they look and feel extremely comfortable. It's like two double beds. And there are so many details which Amanda and I are going to try and show you right now. <laughs> so coming from the door over there on your right you've got this little hanging situation which you can hang some coats etc. This is a do not disturb sign. Um, I have put my suitcase here so you do have some storage area. Amanda spotted some fun things here. A balloon! <laughs> and long neck! Um. And... A it's little okay, angel, perhaps? I don't know, but the fact that long neck is there, and I, because I, I saw the balloon as well, but the long neck guy, I've already told Amanda about him, and there he is. Then we've got these things open, which you've got a safe in there, and then under there we've got, oh yeah, these little shoes, little red riding shoes. Just some really cute ruby colored shoes. We've got the um, fridge, it is empty, but. Uh, it's there for us, which is nice. So yeah, quite a lot of storage area actually. You have a full length mirror here if you want to, you know, look at your outfit before you leave. And yeah, we just hung up our coats here, some more extra pillows and loads of storage up there actually. So not bad whatsoever. And even down there, there's details of some of the characters in the Efteling. So that's the long neck guy again, which is cute. And where should we go next? We've got, go on. The boots, yeah. Oh, the boots are really fun because initially I thought they were just there as decoration, but no, 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 they're actually bins. And one's for plastic, one's just for other kinds of waste. Um, you get a kettle and just like different teas, am I correct? And this is some information about room service. If you do want to do room service, obviously we ate at our restaurant downstairs. Then you get this lovely little sofa situation going on. And we, we're both big fans of this, aren't we? The little curtain situation is 
such a nice uh, shade of blue and it makes the whole room feel a lot more magical like because it feels very blue anyway blue and mystical and yeah this as well <laughs> snitch. yeah Amanda and I call it the golden snitch and we only just realized how to turn it on didn't we just before the vlog because there's no stick there's no oh, sorry not stitch there's no a switch on the actual lamp as far as we can tell the switch for it is actually in the middle of the beds which we'll get to in a bit but this is really cool big fan of that oh my god it looks like i've got um wings on my hair at the moment <laughs> this is a fun look um yes yeah, so obviously we've got the tv there's a remote um anything else that oh the game yeah so over here we have a board game and we haven't played it yet but maybe one of the days that we're here because we're here for a couple of nights we'll give it a go but it's got all the rules for the game and it's just nice because it's a ta it's, it's a table is no is it yes yes it's, oh no oh it's no on. it's not oh, yeah. okay interesting but it looks like a crown oh, so it's on the chair. That's lovely. that is very that is a nice chair <laughs> everything's lovely so that's the fun thing as well fun addition to the room for sure and then we get to the beds which as i mentioned <laughs> nice and comfortable we're both really looking forward to sleeping because we've had long travel days um i think it took both of us about four hours all together right kind of maybe even a bit more yeah and then oh yeah the headboard so i roughly can see it it's got the e sign the e logo for the efteling very nice with some rose details around it and i'm pretty sure again with the on the walls you can see again the balloon and probably long neck might be hiding somewhere as well we've got this beautiful cat just chilling and <laughs> protecting us as a lamp in between two beds and of course we've got the um, plugs on the sides so the that's convenient switches up behind oh yeah can we turn this on do you think mm -hmm. surely we must we've, we've been able to turn everything else on oh, I've, i forgot to oh no 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 <laughs> Maybe, maybe the maybe the cat switches somewhere else. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, maybe it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just try it. See how things look. Oh, oh, how cute! The cat is lit up, but when there's a cat, there's always something else. And what is that thing? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. That is terrifying. We have a mouse in our room. When we when we first arrived in the room, we literally saw Amanda very seriously was like, there is a problem though. There's a mouse. <laughs> and I panicked, even though I knew, even though I, I knew this existed, because like I, I've stayed in a similar room before. Um, for a second, I was like, oh my God. And then Amanda just started lolling. But yeah, nice details. You've got a little mouse there. Um, very cute. And oh yeah, of course. When we arrived, we noticed this in the room, which is a very, very kind little card letter from the Efteling. It says, Dear Samar, welcome in Efteling. The Waterlies have stopped by to wish you all a very nice day. That's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm glad the Waterlilies, like, you know, wanted us to have a nice time. We are happy to welcome you and we hope you will make the most beautiful of memories in the Efteling with magical regards, Ef regards Efteling Hotel and Resorts Efteling. And um, this is really, really lovely. So again, um, big, big thank you to the Efteling team for inviting us. We're very happy to be here. And I'm actually very excited to show Amanda the water lilies in the forest because it's one of my <laughs> favorite parts of the forest and the song that goes with it. Amazing. So yeah, um, anything else? We've got this mirror which uh, has wings, just like my head did <laughs> earlier. And then I think there's some information here, uh, which I, don't, I can't read because it's not in English. These are our cards for the room, a little table desk, some more details on the side. And then, yeah, this is an overview of them. The, 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 the boots just make me laugh so much. I love them. The theming is probably one of the best themed hotels I've ever stayed at, and it just feels so magical and fairy tale like with like a mouse casually chilling with us and we've got a cat and wings and the golden snitch as amanda likes to call it like it's just no it's amazing the golden snitch is there again <laughs> um joke aside fantastic and i'd love to hear your thoughts so far on this room i feel like uh the efteling standard rooms have changed a little bit since i last stayed here a few years ago um, I do have a tour of that as well, a full tour of the Efteling Hotel, so check that out. It's from a few years ago, but if you want to see what they looked, um, feel free. But I absolutely love this blue vibe. Really, really enjoy it. And those blue curtains, 
really nice. We've got one last thing to show you, and I suppose that's just the bathroom where Amanda was <laughs> standing <laughs> at earlier. Let's just turn it on. I first noticed the floor, to be honest. Oh yeah, a little compass, just chilling. It's on the floor. Very fun. And we've got a pretty long sink. Um, hair dryer, which hopefully I'll be using in a bit, and I can tell you what it's like. It looks like a nice hair dryer. The soap is lovely. Enjoy the wonders around you. The gift label Amsterdam, and you can actually buy this. It's an Efteling labeled soap. This huge, beautiful, um, lit up mirror, and then yeah, that's if all. You, oh yeah, go on. Look in the mirror. So you need to look there, right? Ah, and you can read. Yeah. If you can read that. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> neither Amanda nor I uh, speak or understand Dutch, but it's got some writing in Dutch that you can only see the right way around if you look at it in the mirror, which is very, very clever. Love that. If any of you do speak Dutch, please leave a comment down below and let us know what this says. Really would appreciate it. And then we've got the shower. Everything's kind of like gold, which is nice. And then the uh, shampoo conditioner vibe. I think they're also Efteling themed. Nothing much going on there. Yeah. That's it. With that being said, thank you so much for joining us on this first day at the Efteling. Like I said, this was the day that we travelled, both of us. Amanda, you actually came from London with the Eurostar. I came from Paris because I was in Paris before this trip um, and it was my first time doing the journey from Paris and the journey wasn't too bad. I did have to change trains, I think, three times and then we got the bus from Tilburg to the Efteling, which took about half an hour, but it was, it was fine. Like, you found the location of the bus and it was all mm -hmm. very good. Was it about, what, four euros? Um... Yeah, like 450 I yeah, think. Yeah, to, to get from here. So really not bad at all. The bus was nice, convenient. Um, if you're staying at the Efteling Hotel, it can be a bit difficult once you get off the bus to get to the Efteling Hotel. It would be easier if you could just go through the park. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something to bear in mind. Like It was a bit of a walk from the bus station to the Efteling. But yeah. uh, what's, what would you say the solution is just to kind of... If you have your park tickets, tickets mm -hmm. already, we didn't today. No. But if you do, then you can just walk through the park. Through the park, that makes it a lot um, easier. If not, mm, we did walk, but you mm -hmm. have to go under a tunnel and it doesn't And you go like around a lot. Around it was a long room. walk. Um, my hair is an absolute mess, I feel like. <laughs> but I also feel like I'm very, bl I am blue. Dabba dee dabba die because I'm wearing blue. And I feel like at the moment the backdrop is very blue. Our sheets are blue. Um, everything is just, my bag, I mean, and my laptop kit, everything is just blue. A man is a bit purple, but purple is also a bit of a shade of a blue. So I'll allow it. <laughs> um, Dr. Slag, we've had a wonderful day. Um, if you're interested in like how what it's like to travel to the Efteling, I do have a vlog from last year when we travelled together, my friend and I from London to the Efteling, uh, the same route that Amanda did today. You can hopefully get a better glimpse of it um, from that vlog, I'll leave it down below. But maybe at one point I'll also do some sit down videos talking about ways to get here. Like I said, I did it from Paris to here and it really wasn't that bad. It took about four hours because of all the changes that we had to do. but it's just a few changes you know it's just being on a train and as long as you're good and comfortable using public transport you should be fine so yeah with that being said i feel like i'm really rambling amazing day make sure you subscribe because tomorrow we'll hopefully have a nice full day in the parks and amanda will get to experience efteling and all the beauty of it and hopefully maybe see pardos again yeah. <laughs> see you meet the long neck um there'll be so many i'm so excited to go on some of my favorite rides and obviously go and you know share them with amanda for the first time Thank you again to the Efteling for having us here. And like I said, if you want to see more, subscribe because more videos will be coming. But with that being said, it's goodbye. For me and from me. <laughs> see you in the next vlog, guys. Mm -hmm.